Hello and welcome to Simple Cryptocurrency Demos. My name is Claudio and this is CryptoChain, the channel where I do cryptocurrency news reviews, demos, interviews and blockchain games reviews. And in today's demo, we're going to be looking at the McAfee DEX and DEX actually stands for Decentralized Exchange. If you, in case you don't know it, in case you haven't heard of the word DEX before, because maybe you're new to cryptocurrency, and we're going to be doing a quick demo of how the actual exchange looks like. This has been developed by John McAfee's team, right? He's quite famous in the cryptocurrency space. He's also the initial founder of the McAfee antivirus, in case you're aware of it. And hey, if you're not aware of it and you're actually interested to find out more about John McAfee, I've actually done an interview on this channel with John McAfee and it should pop up right there. You should see it. Just click on that link and access that interview and watch it after this tutorial, of course, or even before you watch this tutorial, if you're interested. It's got a lot of comedy in it, you're gonna love it, but let's not waste any time and get right in and see what this DEX is all about. So basically, John McAfee has claimed that there'll be no listing fees for this DEX and no government will be able to shut it down. Um, it will be accessible from any country in the world, so no restrictions on IP addresses, anything like that, so that's pretty cool. And uh, as we can see here on McAfeeDex.com, again, the link is going to be in the description and it's not a sponsor video, just to get that out of the way. This is the disclaimer, you can find that in the description as well. Uh, and on McAfeeDex, we can see the market section here, we can see the ad token, the balance, the whitelist and the whitelist checker and the Ethereum address on the top right hand corner. Now you may be asking how did I actually log in? Well, when you first access the website, if you have MetaMask, which is a web browser Ethereum wallet, you can simply log in by signing into the actual DEX, right? It'll basically ask you for your signature, you sign in and you log in. It's as simple as that. You need to download MetaMask, which is a web browser based wallet for Ethereum. And again, on McAfee DEX, you can only trade Ethereum based tokens. So anything on the Ethereum blockchain, which are known as ERC20 tokens, right? When a company develops something on Ethereum and they deploy a smart contract, then they are officially an ERC20 when it comes to the actual token, the, the actual currency, because again, you can deploy applications too. Uh, now, so you've got the buy and sell here, like I said, in the market section, there's quite a lot of them. So a lot of them have actually launched. Again, this actually launched yesterday, the 7th of October, 2019, and today is the 8th. Uh, but uh, there isn't much liquidity. As you can see here, there are a lot of tokens. So basically companies and even people that have created tokens have listed all of them. I'm not even sure if they got a list beforehand, before actually launching the beta version and they just listed them themselves or was it people that listed them? Was it just like random investors? For example, if I invest in some random project from here in an ICO, uh, was I the one that actually, not me, but like a person like me, uh, was it them that actually added this token or was it the team? That's that's the question. Or was it even the McAfee team, the McAfee development team uh, that actually listed it beforehand and now you can list them. So maybe when they went live with it, I don't know. But there's quite a lot of them, right? So we've got the SDEX here, SDEX pair. So let's have a quick look at that just to show you. It is very slow, by the way. It's taking quite some time to load and it's not my internet connection. It's just quite slow. Uh, actually, let's go to the Ethereum pair because I was on the DAI pair. Uh, let's go to SDEX Ethereum. Apparently, this was the one when I was checking a few of them and apparently this is one which has a lot of transactions. So these are the trade. This is the trade history there on the right hand side. You can see all the different buy and sell orders. Buy orders in green, sell orders in red in case you're new and you're not aware, but it's pretty much the standard across all the different exchanges. The difference is here that you're trading with your wallet like you are on other decentralized or hybrid exchanges. So you can simply click on the buy order here and it asks you how much do you want to buy. Let's say I want to buy one. It'll cost me five Ethereum, which is the value of $903. It basically tells you here beforehand and you can click buy or cancel. If you click buy, of course, you need to confirm that transaction. Uh, but then there's the sell function here as well, of course, which you can do. Again, you can sell here. So for example, if I want to go here, go here actually. okay, so here I can sell amount to sell and how much will it cost me and this is the value in USD. 
so it does that conversion so i mean looking at the actual website is not wow it's not nothing special because i have done demos on switchio dex also it is a hybrid exchange it's not really a dex but they claim to be a dex uh, in the papers but the ceo knows that it's not a dex they know it's a hybrid exchange and it looks more cutting edge in my opinion right is my personal opinion you may agree with me also nash looks better you may agree with me there too but this is pretty basic and again we got to remember this is the better version and the fact that it's not blocked by any jurisdiction so people in the us can access this and we know that people in new york for example in the us are banned from a lot of these exchanges and uh, with mcafee dex there is no ban they can simply access it and they can start trading on it and again not financial advice i just want to reiterate that uh, but the other thing here, apart from the uh, Ethereum pair, we've got the DAI pair, which is a stable token, WBTC, which is also an ERC20 token, so it's on the Ethereum blockchain, but it's uh, mapped or not mapped, uh, it's uh, pegged to the BTC value, to the Bitcoin value. And then true USD, which is pegged to the US dollar, it's a stable token. And then there's the add token here, right? So here you can add a token basically if you're a company and you want to list your token you can do so uh, and and i think it's not only that i think that what you can also do here is if you have your wallet of course and uh, if a token is not showing up here which i find that a bit weird i think you can add that and the ticker symbol the decimals and so on and you can confirm it pretty much like you would on your my ether wallet for example when there's uh when you hold some specific erc20 tokens and they're not listed on there they don't show under your balance but you know you got them because they're on the blockchain so you can add those tokens with the address which is the uh, of course the hash address uh, that you get from the uh, actual token uh, and you and to get that you can go to my ether wallet for example and then the ticker symbol and the number of decimals uh, that you can have now the balances section of course shows you the balances which is pretty typical here uh, now the whitelist part here now this is a bit questionable because john mcafee did say that he's not going to charge anybody any fees yet in order to whitelist okay just to be whitelisted uh, you do need to send 85 dollars a worth of ethereum which is 0.47 ethereum at the time of doing this video to a specific address after one confirmation um, it's not not after one confirmation after it after the transaction confirms the address gets white uh, white listed you can then trade it on mcafee dex with no platform fees for life okay so that's a bit of a question there so are we saying that there are platform fees then uh, that's that's a bit questionable i'm not entirely sure on that one uh, so yeah you can verify then if the address was white listed by clicking on there over there so I'm not entirely sure what, what they mean by that, to be honest. Check that your address is whitelisted. Maybe, maybe they're actually referring to actual personal Ethereum addresses. Can they be blacklisted? I didn't even know that, to be honest. So that's a new to me. Let me know in the comments below if you believe so. It's a bit strange. Uh, but there's the whitelist checker, of course, which sends you to a different website where you can type in your address and then you can see if it's whitelisted. And then there's the account section here with the wallet address again this is a test uh, wallet that i'm using for ethereum when i do my demos uh, for ethereum stuff uh, you can set up a new account and it generates a wallet for you uh, you can import it there's the frequently asked questions the support section github ledger nano you can connect to that apparently export the private key and then you can forget the account which basically wipes out the cookie i think it creates a temporary account for you and if you don't export it it just deletes it it's like it'll still be there but because you've never actually exported the private key i don't think you'll be able to get access to it then you can set the gas price and so on so things like that right these are the transactions like i was saying the orders here open and filled so pretty standard, nothing major, nothing special, uh, a basic DEX, right? a very, very basic DEX. Let me know what you think. What do you think about it? Will you be using it? Are you not able to use certain exchanges in your jurisdiction? And would you be interested in using this? I'm curious to get your opinion. Let me know in the comments below. And before we finish with this tutorial, I just want to remind you about the October giveaway of 50 ONT, which is Ontology Coins. Now, it's not actually going to be 50 ONT to one person. It's actually be five lucky winners winning 10 ONT each. I just want to reiterate. So 10 Ontology Coins to each person, five lucky winners in total. And in order to qualify, all you have to do is comment 
on the John McAfee interview video that I've done and the link is gonna be in the description and it should also pop up right up on the top there you should see as a pop-up just above where it says October giveaway and you leave a comment with your telegram username it's very very simple once you do that you just have to retweet the John McAfee interview tweet that I've done on my Twitter page and again the link is gonna be in the description directly to the Twitter page uh, where I've done that tweet so you can just simply open that retweet if you have a Twitter account if not please open a Twitter account and retweet that's all you have to do and that's it and by the way when you comment on the John McAfee interview with the telegram username please also let me know your Twitter username because I would like to know that just so I can validate that you have indeed retweeted again if it's the same as your telegram username don't worry about it I will see that it's the same but if it's not I will be checking that so yes, please make sure you open a Twitter account if you don't already have one to retweet the John McAfee interview tweet. And that's pretty much it. Very, very simple. I'll be announcing the winners in a future news video uh, when I get enough comments with Telegram usernames because ideally I would like to get over five just to make it fair. I don't want to, uh, if I have no choice, I mean, if it gets close to the end of the month and we don't have more than five, then those five people are just going to win. Simple as that. 10 20 each but if we get more than that of course five will be chosen so the less people the better for you of course but it's in your advantage to take part in this giveaway for these 10 free ont and that's pretty much it from today's tutorial i'd like to thank you very much for watching let me know what you think once again and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it take care and have a lovely day Bye bye